CDD, CD Lemmings. Damn! Why do you never work? Every single time I try to do the two. Oh, hi guys. This is Lavatrip Lemon Tyler, creator of Lemmings PSP, Amiga Classic Edition, but also for Old Irish Edition. And that is what I'm going to talk about today. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of the gameplay sample of how my hat plays and how it looks and stuff on the big screen of the PlayStation Portal. It works on both the Slim and Fat, the PSP 1000, PSP 2000, and the PSP 3000. And uh, I'm going to say up front that my patch is a patch only. It is not an ISO. It is not an upload of an ISO. You will need an ISO in order to patch my um, patch into your game. So, I'm also going to tell you that when you download this, you know, if you download this legally, this game, forward, you will get it off the PlayStation Network. It will cost $9.99, and you will get an eBoost file in your PSP game folder. It should be called NPUH10074, or something like hey, that. Hey, I love the truth. I'm trying to get this thing to work, and... But it's yeah. really a reason you need to interrupt me right now. I mean, this I'm is important. Work. I need my weapons. What? I need my weapons. I mean, what are you doing? What game are you playing? Dude, how many times have I told you, don't play games like this? They rot your brain. It's not violent at all. I mean, it's what? just... What? You're blitzed already. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with you, man? Man, I just need one code in here. I just enter one code and I'm fine. I don't know, man. It's been years since I've even looked at a game like this. I mean, I'm not sure if I can remember them. Come on, just try. I mean, you're the game hacker, aren't you? I mean, you're like a super hacker, I and mean, you can hack a Wii, I mean, what? That's DOS. That's Disk Operating System. Microsoft. Is this hard? But yes, I did have that Wii. And that means you can hack this. Hack it. Okay. Try my code. I need some weapons. Come on. I need weapons. I'm doing it. Dun, dun, dun. You are so slow. Thought you would have a hack by now. Well, well, you're distracting me. How am I supposed to possibly see what I'm doing? Forget it, man. <laughs> okay, so anyway, what I was back to what I was saying here. Um, you will get an eboot file. It will be in the NPUH10074 folder, in case I'm wrong, which I probably am. Or maybe not, I don't know. But anyhow, it will be an eboot file that you get once you download it off the PlayStation Network or the PSN. So what you do is you take my walkthrough and you follow it and you go down and you go through all the steps and you'll figure out how to convert it to an ISO. Once you give your file to an ISO, you just simply apply that patch into your ISO, the very easy to use program I have provided. Or well, I'm told it's easy to use, people like it, it's a good thing. And anyhow, you'll pretty much have the patch. But today I'm going to show you gameplay of how the patch plays and what it looks like when you patch an actual ISO with... Yeah, this game is fun! So, anyhow, let's get started showing you that, huh? Here we go. Alright, so let's take a little bit of a look at the gameplay of Horde, Old Iris Edition. This is my PlayStation Portable. It's also called a PSP. It is a PSP 1000, also known as the FAT model. And I have 6.39 ME5 custom firmware on this. So, that's good to know. Also, uh, it's been used fairly frequently and it is does have a lot of wear and tear on it but I don't care this is actually what I use to test all of my mods and stuff like that so we're gonna turn on the console here and you'll hear the PSP sound there you go and now we're going to show you our firmware in our system settings and system information 6.39 ME5 so there you go okay so now we're gonna go back and we're gonna go back into the game category so we're gonna open that up with the X button you scroll down I have game categories enabled so I need to fix things and when you highlight the horde icon in your game menu should be down here somewhere you will hear this
It's pretty little Irish music. This actual Irish tune is actually called The Old Irish Washerwoman. Actually, it's not old anything. It's The Irish Washerwoman, and that's the name of the tune. So once you have all this come up, you just hit X, and it starts playing the game. You wait for it to load a little bit. It starts going into the RAM and loading all the elements of different game, uh, you know, parts into the RAM. And here you go. Big Sandwich Games. And here's title music. If it... So now you're just going to go into whatever parts of the menu you want to go into. And you have like options like Treasure, Princess Rush, something I can't read, oh, Horde, Co-op. Go back down there, you can adjust options like controls, camera, audio, levels. We're going to turn the effects up because we want to give you the full deal what this game is like. So now you hit play and you'll be taken to a new set of Irish tunes that have replaced the original audio in the original game. Once again, this is a PlayStation Network download, and the PlayStation Network is often dubbed PSN for short, for PlayStation Network. And once you patch this, this is what your game will look like. So we are going to choose Treasure Mode. So press X. After we choose our map, There we go. And as you know, if you've played this game, the object is to ransom as many villages as you can and burn things down and collect the gold from it to increase your overall net worth of your horde. But no one really cares about that. What you want to care about right now is the music, so let's discuss the music a little bit. There's 72 old Irish tunes in this game that I have painstakingly put in there. And these are actually public domain tunes I got online. And I had to convert and everything to the proper format so that it would play in the PlayStation Portable. And once I did that, it was uh, pretty much beta 1. And I tried some other things like replacing the save data icons and also replacing the game menu icon zero that pops up when you try to load your game or you highlight it in your menu so that was one thing I did the other thing I had to do was level all these tracks so that all of them are pretty much the same volume and on top of that I had to make sure that all of the tracks played in a non-redundant order what this means is that I had to take these tracks and order them like for instance I would have a minor track play maybe a couple minor tracks, and then I'd have to have a major plat track play. And I try to break up the keys of the songs as well, so that it will not be redundant and mundane when you're playing this game, because all the music is pretty much mixed to be interesting to listen to, and you're not going to hear the same song twice all the time. And that was happening with Beta 1, so I had to fix that for sure. I just got a power-up. So I just destroyed a castle, that was awesome. There. I can't aim. That's sad. Alright, so now we're going to level up. As you can tell, having Iris music in this game is actually pretty nice because it fits the game content very well, much more so than the techno medieval remixes that you had before. So the object is to just get as much gold as you can, clearly. So that's what we're doing here. I'm going to ransom the princess, if I can get to her. Oh my gosh.
<laughs> gotcha. Ransom. All right. So anyhow, that's pretty much an overview of this game and stuff. There's also something else important, and that is if you quit and you go into some other game modes, you will have other music tracks play. I tried to divide up all the tracks and stuff so that it won't be the same one over and over, and I intentionally made it to where you won't hear the same track twice in any of these genres, unless the random order of the PlayStation ISO uh, decides to actually play them in repeat order. So I'm going to do Princess Rush and start here, and you have different music. Most of these are minor. And you also have another dragon to compete with, so that's kind of not very much fun to deal with. I don't like this mode for that reason, because they're just way better than I am at this game. And when you exit to the menu, you'll always hear this tune. That's one thing that's kind of, well, not really annoying, but just predictable. But this is a good tune anyway, especially since it's in minor. I tried to give you lots of minor tunes because major ones get old pretty pretty quickly. You know, you're like, do 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 and no, you're not. That's one of the thing. But you know, like the one when you highlighted the game in your game menu on your PSP X and B, when you heard that, that was in the major key. And so that was, you know, it's all happy and jolly and stuff. But sometimes you need to break up the mix with, you know, some darker tunes. So that was the main thing. This is pretty much an entire overview of my pack here, or my audio mod. And you have all your regular game things that you had before, including the credits. I didn't change those because I want you to know that despite all of my work on this, the original game is still copyright to all the original copyright holders. So that's pretty much it. And uh, I guess now I'll just say thanks for watching and I hope you like my work here. This mod is not completely done. I don't know what else I'll add to it, but I might add something. I'm still thinking. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the mod. Comment and rate if you like it. And uh, I'll see you around with another video on YouTube or another mod on moddb.com. You can find all of my mods on moddb.com slash labatrith. At least I think that is the URL. And labatrith is L-A-B-A-T-R-Y-T-H. So that's moddb.com slash L-A-B-A-T-R-Y-T-H. I think that's what it is. I hope I didn't misspell my own name. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you around. I would provide a full Ford PSN download ebook or Hey Love Trip. I s um, I'm trying to What is it. so important right now? You have to interrupt me. I'm, I'm trying to play play this game and I need more weapons. How many times have I told you, man? Quit playing games like that. They mess with your brain. But but I need it. I need I need to get rid of this guy. Well where's your ambulance? He's coming. I already wasted a few. Man, what's wrong with you? I mean, come on. Let me give you a couple of rides. I mean, you're the only one who knows these codes. I mean, you're like super hacker. Come Dude, on, Dude, this. this is DOS. Disk operating system. Microsoft. My bad. Dude, what is going on here? This game is so confusing. I do not see anything that you're supposed to do in here. There's a helicopter after me. You get, you get rid of it. What are you doing? Well, do the thing.